hi in our previous video we discussed about the geometric representation of quadratic polynomial so in this video we will discuss about the geometric representation of cubic polynomials so let us consider a polynomial consider a polynomial say p of x is equal to x cube minus 4x so to understand about this polynomial we are going to geometrically represent that is we are going to plot the graph of this p of x is equal to x cube minus 4x of this polynomial okay so let us try to plot the graph so i take let let y is equal to x cube minus 4x so i have x here and y and i am going to choose some random points so say I am going to choose some points like minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. So let us try to plot the graph, let, let, let us try to get the values of y so that we can able to plot the graph. So we have y is equal to x cube minus 4x. So when x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to minus 2 the whole cube minus 4 into minus 2. So we have x is equal to 0. So we can put 0, y is equal to 0. So when x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to minus 1 the whole cube minus 4 into minus 1. So we have 3. So we can put 3 here. Similarly, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 cube minus 4 into 0. So we have 0. So we can put 0 here. Similarly, when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 cube minus 4 into 1. That is minus 3. So minus 3. Similarly, so the last point when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2 cube minus 4 into 2 that is equal to 0 again. So, we have 0. So, from this what we can able to observe or what we can able to understand is these are going to be our zeros because I have p of x is equal to 0 at that, those point. So, what we will do is let us try to plot the graph of this. So let us try to plot this graph, plot the graph of y is equal to x cube minus 4x. So let this be power positive y assets, negative y, positive x and negative x. So the first point is minus 2 comma 0. So minus 2 comma 0. The second point is minus 1 comma 3. So minus 1 comma 3, this is the second point. The third one is 0 comma 0, this one. The fourth one is 1 comma minus 3, 1 comma minus 3, so this one. The final point is 2 comma 0, this. So these are the points which we have. So if we join those points, so let us try to join those points. So I get a graph like this. So this is the graph of p of x is equal to 
h cube minus 4h so i we have plotted the graph so what we can able to observe here is the graph the polynomial p of h which is equal to h cube minus 4h it is it is intersecting the h axis so this is our h axis the polynomial p of h the graph of the polynomial p of h is equal to h cube minus 4h so this is the graph of the polynomial p of h is equal to h cube minus 4h this graph is intersecting the h axis at three points which are those three points so the first point is this one second one and third one these three points it is intersecting at three points okay so it is intersecting at h is equal to minus 2 h is equal to 0 and h is equal to 2 so these are nothing but our solution h is equal to minus 2 h is equal to 0 and h is equal to 2 so these are nothing but our zeros of the polynomial so the zeros of the polynomial are the zeros of p of h is equal to h cube minus 4 h are minus 2 comma 0 and 2 so these three points it is intersecting it is intersecting h axis it is intersecting h axis so it is intersecting the h axis these three points the graph is intersecting the h axis at these three points since it is intersecting at three points it has three zeros it has three zeros okay so now what we will do is we will try to find the zeros of p of h is equal to h cube so if we plot this one so i am not going to use the graph but if we plot for this particular polynomial we get a graph something like this we will get a graph like this so what i mean is it is going to intersect at only one point so for this even though this is a cubic polynomial it has only one zero here we had three zeros here we have only one zeros so the previous polynomial p of h is equal to x cube minus 4 x we got three zeros because the graph was intersecting at three points in the h axis whereas in this cubic polynomial p of h is equal to x cube if we plot it the graph is going to intersect at only one point so it will have only one zero okay let us take one more case if we take p of h is equal to h cube minus h square so what happens to this if we plot for this if we plot for this we will get the graph like this we will be getting a graph something like this so it will be intersecting at two points here and here so this will be say 1 comma 0 and this will be 0 comma 0 so you students can try and uh, try to plot the graph you can try for this polynomial and also for this polynomial the students can try and uh, you can if you plot the graph you will get like this so what we are observing here is it is intersecting at two points so this is going to have two zeros okay so to summarize to summarize So to summarize a cubic polynomial we have will have a cubic polynomial will have at most 
will have utmost that is maximum three zeros that means it can have one zero two zero or three zero not more than three it cannot have more than three zeros it can have at most three zeros that is the maximum of three zeros a cubic polynomial whereas in the previous video we saw in the quadratic polynomial will have at most two zeros linear polynomial will have at most only one zero and here we have seen the cubic polynomial will have at most four zero three zeros similarly if a polynomial is having a degree of four it will have at most four zeros if the four polynomial is having a degree of 10 it will have at most 10 zeros so in 10 points maximum it can intersect only at 10 points that is the meaning so this is about the geometric representation geometric meaning of the zeros of the polynomial in the next video we will discuss about exercise 2.1